Hey. hey everybody, you guys, you know, I was very highly influenced by Nevermind, Nirvana's album, the very first, no, the second album, um, uh, Bleach was the first one, right? But yes. anyway, um, I was very highly influenced by this, and they, I, I love the album cover, and now you can get one with my little baby body in it. And you <laughs> don't have to have the shirt if you don't want it, you can get it as a poster. That's just as cool, too. Go to That's badfriendsmerch.com, cool. badfriendsmerch.com. I'm on tour in the fall, gearing up to shoot my hour. I'm going to be in Frank, California, Indianapolis, Charlotte. Uh, Waukee, Omaha, Kansas City, Cleveland, St. Louis, Grand Rapids, Detroit, New Orleans, San Antonio, Chicago, Durham, Atlanta, Charleston, Philly, New York, Phoenix, San Francisco, San Diego, Boston, and Minneapolis. Uh, go to andrewsantino.com for those tickets. andrewsantino.com. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Yip yapping away. Yip yapping away. Yip yapping all day. Yip yapping away. Yay. Yes, I am. Wait, or no, no I'm not. No, you are. No, McCone. Yes, yeah. you are. You are. All right, let's start the show. And then uh, I just, and then, uh, did you know that Delaney has a prison tattoo on her finger? What? Delaney, you went to prison? She has a prison tattoo on her finger. Let me see. Um, <laughs> what does it say? No, it's just, it's a stick and poke. A stick and poke. Yeah, so. That's what Bobby calls a his sex life. Stick and poke. Because every girl, ow, 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 It's not stick and poke. Asian have a sharp penis. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go into negative. Let's go into positive. Did something happen, though? I can't. Uh, yeah. No, nothing. Well, I have to go to Winnipeg. I'm thinking bummed about that. Wait, One why? morning. For Tom's thing? One show at Tom, yeah. W Winnipeg. Do you know where that is on a map? It's probably. I'm not making fun of you because I don't know. Good I idea. assume Winnipeg is um, more East Canada. I think it's middle. Maybe middle. I have no idea. Yeah. I genuinely don't. Edmonton know. is Edmonton, middle too. Ed Edmonton's more left. It's a, it's a, is it? okay. Alberta's. Where? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's Winnipeg. zoom out, Carlos. That's pretty central. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of, oh, that is dead center. Dead center. Wow, it's right above Minnesota. When it, oh my God, I'm dreading. I got I got to fly all that way. <laughs> How long is it, you think? Four and a half, four. Oh, okay. Because you got to go north, you got to go up and over, you know? Yeah, but it's also like the- um, 3.30, the, 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 the I hate the border crossing thing. Yeah, because- You got to give yeah. them paperwork. Right. And one time I was doing a movie, and it was years ago, and I had to wait there for hours in like a little lab room. In the Canadian border? In security, in secu oh, God, I can't even speak to it, I'm so tired. Security room. Not a lab room. Why am I saying it? Right, let me tell you something, by the way. Congratulations. I've been watching the worst roommate show. <laughs> like I said. Wow. Are you being real? Yeah. The second season? I'm 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 cruising through it. I love it so much. But the amount of murder. Mm, too much. The woman that filmed her own that recorded her own death. Mm. Wow. Wow. Wowzy zowzy. She turned on a recorder and she's like, what are you going to beat the shit out of me? And he did. Mm. Mm -hmm. She asked him and he did. And then you, they have it on tape. Yeah. It's, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't see the first season. Oh, really? I only saw the second season. Oh, my God. It's so good. I was going to go back to the first season. I do that with movies, too. Do you have roommates, Delaney? Yeah, I do. Don't. How, how many? Um, Five. Jesus. Jesus Christ. You have your own room? Wait a minute. Do you live at home? Are you talking about your parents? No. <laughs> Wait, you have your own room. I've, yeah, because we have a house. Starting junior year, you move off campus. Ooh, Ooh. fancy. I moved off campus. Wait yeah. a minute, how old are you? 21. You're a senior now? Yeah. I get my own electrical slot so I can plug in my iPhone. Ooh. Ooh. You know, and my roommate Samuel, she gets the second one underneath it with Ooh. her iPod. Ooh. Ooh. Delaney, five people? Yeah. How much is rent with five? Sneak in there. You, these guys don't need attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, It's like 2000 For you? Mm -hmm. You pay $2,000 to live for, with With four other people? Wait. Where, where are you living? With a Palisades? Are you living in Beverly Hills? No, New Orleans. Wait a minute, you don't live in LA? Only, like, my parents are here. You're north from Orange County? No, I'm from the Palisades. Um, what are you getting so angry for, man? I don't know, I'm, I don't know. Time out. <laughs> $2,000 per person, so it's a $10,000 a month house you're renting? It's like, you can get a nice place for that in New Orleans. Is that right, though? So it's 10 grand a month? In New Orleans. So all of you are paying $2,000. 
Yeah, probably. You don't even know what everybody pays. Well, because I'm not asking like my other roommates. You don't ask each other? That's not a point of... Some of them I don't know that well. Oh, so you live in a home with people you might not know. Yeah, you're You're too... perfect for this TV show. Yeah, you're too... <laughs> I don't think so. She's too fancy for me. I'll tell She's going to end up in the news 100%. Yeah, yeah, remember yeah. What, remember that girl Delaney we used to work with a couple All years right. ago? Dude. Yeah, the weird They one. found her foot in Florida. Yeah. They found her head in New Orleans. Yeah. They found her like, ankle in... In Tucson. Tucson, her Arizona. In Tucson, yeah. yeah. yeah they, and they still haven't found her butthole. No. Yeah, yeah. What do they, they still, do with yeah, that? Well, yeah. I think they shot it into Dude, space. that's a cool killer, though. No, just hear me out. I know, I'm just saying, right? A killer <laughs> with a necklace with all these little rings. Don't you think? Little butthole rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're dry. You know what I mean? What is that? Are those, this? Is that puka shells? No, man. You know, uh, you take uh, uh, Fruit Loops. Oh, that's yeah, cute. Yeah, you take Fruit Loops, you put them in the water, then oh. you let it dry in the sun, right? And then it just has this like a rubbery like cool. anal. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know what you're feeling? It's like a rubber anal. Kind of smells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your necklace. You like calamari? I love it. This is calamari. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is this? An ear necklace? Yeah, from from Vietnam. Oh, An American soldier in South Vietnam possesses the the zoom in the strip bodies of dead vehicle. Oh my God! So he would Dude. kill them and then put them on a necklace. Yeah. Bro, that's hardcore. <laughs> cool as hell. That's imagine, cool as hell, Carlos. Dude, imagine, good. imagine, dude, imagine. I was in the war. <laughs> imagine I was in the war, right? And you know, I'm looking at you. I go, "Hey, man, nice necklace. Thanks. Look. Oh, this. No. <laughs> no. This. Fuck you. No, dude. no. These are. Wait a minute. Fuck you. No, dude. dude. <laughs> Imagine. What if they didn't kill him? Right? They just took his ears. Oh, you, had, <laughs> yeah. you had two. What if they got both of your ears? You come up to me and you're yeah. like, "Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you have something in mind? What? I don't really you, understand. You have Can you pronounce? You have something in mind." You have something. Of, oh, what is it? I owe Hello. you money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. That's you. Oh. Hello. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude, that's insane. That's insane. Cut off someone's ear and then wear it is crazy. That's crazy. But shit, also, yeah. Vietnam. Craziest war. Craziest war in the world, dude. I mean, look, look at, at that. there's so many of them. You know what I mean? I, apparently, it was a trend. Those are the biggest ears I've ever seen either. It's like me. I have huge. Yeah, I, I have ears. little ears. You know the Vietnam War, though? Yeah. Ho Chi Minh, what a guy. What a trail. He makes trails what so trail. deep. And, you know, those trails. But did you know that Ho Chi Minh, a little fun fact. Give me. Before he was Ho Chi That's not a fun fact. It's just a fact. Mm -hmm. Pretty fun to me. Um, before he was, um, you know, the guy, right? He went all, like, he was like a. A baker in France for a year. I'm not kidding. No you. way. Then he went to New York and then was like, he worked on film, like went to a film company, worked on Ho film. Ho Chi Minh was like an artist? No, he was just a world traveler, just going around the world, probably fucking white chicks and stuff, right? Yeah, dude. You know I mean? And he has to do that. Can I say that or no? Okay. And he probably has to do this because you need know, small. Tiny man. And those are her shoulders, oh. right? And do the lunge, you know, like that, you know? So anyway, um, Ho Chi Minh was like a world renowned. You know, a, you know, uh, a worldly man, a, a cultural worldly man, and he found saw what was going on in his country, and he came back. He was like, "That's it. That's it. That's it." I he love making croissant. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love this film we're doing about you know this film, butterfly film. My the photographer. What like, would have been if he actually became a director instead of going back home? Oh my god! Like, imagine if he made really good film. I'm trying to go see Long Legs tonight. Oh, this is gonna be, it's gonna, you like it. Everyone says it's phenomenal. That's Do you see it? And scary, right? I have my different opinion. Creepy? No, I have a different opinion. All right, you don't like it. It's creepy. What? It is creepy. It's very creepy. The tone of the movie is very creepy. Um, it. I mean, at, through the whole movie, you know, it, it gave me hereditary vibes in terms of like, they got the tone right, but then there are times where I'm like, that doesn't make any sense, or what is that? What's going on? What is going on with the little orb? You know what I mean? The doll orb? Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, because I'm going to go see it tonight. <laughs> yeah, but if I say doll orb, you're not going to know what that is. Well, I see it in my head. <laughs> well, you know what doll orbs are? Well, I'm just obsessed right now with the afterlife because I watched this guy on TikTok. I don't even know if I sent it to you. There's a guy on TikTok who goes to graveyards. He cleans the grave. Mm. And as he cleans them, he has one of those machines that picks up electromagnetic vibes, and then it says words through the voice box. And I'm not, when I, dude, okay. he'll go, whoa, 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 whoa. he'll go, he'll, it'll go, it'll go, thank you. 
And he's like, Am I, I'm cleaning your grave, Charlie. Uh, how did you die? And it'll go, stab. There's no way, dude. It does it! He let the spirit there. Play it. Play it for him. Uh, oh. My name's Barry. Sorry, little one. It's hard for me to hear you. Get away, huh? Stop. Like if I heard that, mm. I would just go to the car. I know. What do you do? What do you do? Wow, dude. You think those are like demons and stuff? There's got to be. I mean, look, people that haven't Whoa. passed over, right? Isn't that the theory? Yeah. Stop. I already know what it is. There's a little person behind that grave circle going, eat what the? <laughs> I mean, how do you know that it's the grave thing? I don't understand. There's a machine that does it? So there's a box. There's a spirit box. And spirits can uh, electromagnetically communicate through the box. And it, it's filled with like thousands and thousands of words. And it electromagnetically picks the word and it comes out. So it'll be like death. Oh, I see Striking. I see what you're saying. Mom. Right, right. Bob. Yeah. Lee. Yeah. That's it. We should buy one. A ghost box. And it yeah, records. But what if there's some words in there that I'm a spirit and I want to say it and it's not in the fucking box? It gets as close as it can. Like, which ones are you trying to say? Megatron. <laughs> Would that be in it? I I bet. You know what I mean? Voldemort. It's loaded. Voldemort for sure is in the spirit. I don't box. think Voldemort's in the spirit. <laughs> anal beads. <laughs> That's in there. Oh, you know, anal beads have to be in Yeah. There. Yeah. Ball and chain. Oh, but can I put said so you when BDSM, you BDSM BDSM <laughs> yeah when you put that against a gravestone yeah he just does a thing and then as he walks through let's get one let's go to Hollywood Cemetery done and let's experiment with this stuff man absolutely we can go to like Humphrey Bogart is it well who's buried over there Humphrey Bogart isn't Monroe isn't Marilyn Monroe we got to go to Man Marilyn Monroe's thing at Forest Lawn we got Forest Lawn they're all there right yeah like May West all these yeah people are there uh uh um. Paul Newman, right? There's all those. Oh, I love your pizzas, Paul. He'll say, thank you. <laughs> Will they do that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Paul, you make the best pizza sauce. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Have you seen my work? No. <laughs> yeah. But I love your pasta sauce. I can't sauce. name a movie. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, wow. And I have to say, out of all the Hollywood male stars back from back in the day, he's probably the best looking. Humphrey Bargard or oh Paul, Paul Newman. Newman. Yeah, not even bro, close. Bro, he killed it back then. He was so handsome. Dude. So handsome. Dude, if I look like that now, oh, I wouldn't even be here right now, dude. But there's two kinds of Hollywood what? guys. There's a Paul Newman or there's a- Steve uh, McQueen. Steve McQueen. Yeah. So so Steve McQueen is our generation's probably like either Charlie Hunnam or, or, or uh, what's his name? Tom Hardy. Mm, yeah, yeah. And Paul Newman is like- Austin Butler. Oh, I was gonna say Gosling. Gosling, but I think Austin Butler. I think Austin you are, Butler. No, you're hot. right. You're right. But 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 I think Gosling is hotter. But Gosling's so hot. He's the hottest guy in Hollywood. Dude, he's Delaney, so... you like that guy? You like Rye Goss? Not really. What? Who... Give me a star that you like. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal is my favorite. Yeah, he's oh, a babe. Yeah, nice he's guy, a mega dude. babe, and he's nice jacked. Guy. He's jacked. I saw him one night at a bar on Fairfax, and I f didn't realize how big he is. Yeah. Not stat tall. He's fucking huge. His arms were massive. Yeah. Jilly. You know, here's the joke with me. Hmm. Because I met him one time. I swear to God. So my, you know my friend Gene? Yeah. Hong. They're best friends, right? Yeah. And so um, Gene goes, you can come to the dinner. I go, I can come? Because finally I can come. Where was it? Damien. Ooh. Right? So I come to the dinner. And you know, it, when you're at a dinner like that, everyone's like either a showrunner or like a, a huge person. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm there. Like you have to read the pockets. Uh huh. Do you know what I mean? Know where to slip in. Exactly. Know where to slip in. Yeah, exactly. Right. And I didn't slip in anywhere. <laughs> I found no pockets. You, you. No, I was just uh, eating. And I would go. Da, da, da. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. No words to Jilly. I don't think so. He was so funny. And then I got so nervous, I was like, okay, I'll see you guys later, and I left, right? Who is this? Who's this girl? She posted uh, pictures of the day she wanted to wear for her trip to Auschwitz. This, let me get this right. This young lady yeah. went to Auschwitz, mm -hmm. 
and she did like a get ready with me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to see what she wore. That's what she wore. It looks great. Yeah. So people on the internet are mad because she said, get ready with me to go to Auschwitz. Yeah. Is she Jewish? Um, she push, push pause for a second. She doesn't look Jewish. But the spirits in, at Auschwitz probably look at her like, look at that fat fuck. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? Was that a pig? <laughs> oink, oink. You know what I mean? The spirits didn't like her. Didn't huh? like her, yeah. No, they probably bet you they did. She's very pretty. Yeah. What? She's a Bachelor contestant and a Redman. Yeah. I mean, if like... I imagine the, spir the spirits see that, they're like, oh, hot, a, hot. What? If you had the little machine, they would probably say hot. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 yeah, it's like, it's not good. Not today. Yeah. Hot, hot. If they have that little... Mi I can't. Hot, it's not even good. You sometimes you don't have to th swing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Sometimes they let the ball pass. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> they let the ball pass. All right, let the ball pass a couple times. You know what I mean, don't go hot, hot. You know what I mean? That's what you did. Let's try it again. Let's try it again, dude. So this girl, yeah. <laughs> this girl, she did a get ready with me to go to Auschwitz, mm. and this is her outfit she wore. Yeah, it's just a black dress and sneakers. Mm -hmm. Now, is that disrespectful? What is the appropriate thing to wear to Auschwitz? I gotta say, it's probably that, but probably not. We, like well, we have a resident Jewish kid here, Nick. What's the appropriate thing to wear to Auschwitz? Something understated. understated. Solemn. Solemn. Something drab and quiet, not loud. Imagine yeah. doing Get Ready With Me to only go to tragic sites. <laughs> right. Get ready with me to go to Hiroshima. Yeah. Get ready with me. Get ready with me to go to Chernobyl. Today, we're going to be visiting one of the most <laughs> tragic, weird, fucked up sites you've ever seen. Yeah. Get ready with me. Yeah. Now, I'm doing a blush that's very, like, blow you away blush. Get ready with me to go to Ed Gein's house. We're in Wisconsin. <laughs> All right, we're at the farmhouse, okay? And this is the lamp. See, this lamp, this lamp is made out of human skin. All right? And I know I'm wearing Gucci right now. And, you know, oh, my God. And this kind of looks like skin. I mean, that's, I think, what Prada was trying yeah. to say. Yeah. So that's why we're here. Yeah. Get ready with me to go to Epstein's Island. <laughs> What's yeah, up? Yeah. I'm here. It's desolate and quiet. Yeah. Seems like all the kids are asleep. <laughs> I mean, how could... It is funny. Look, I'm well, sure she didn't do it disrespectfully. She just planned to go to Auschwitz for the day, which millions of people do. Mm. And she was like, here's what I wear. Is this what she does on the internet? She shows people her day? Yeah, she posted this as a part of her schedule. Auschwitz in the AM. And well, yeah, you got to go bro, in the morning. You, you can't go to Auschwitz at night. That's fucking... Bro, if you had a daughter, and that's what she was a social media person, and you're in the house, and you're carving wood. I don't know what men do. You know carving what I mean? wood. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> making a canoe. Yeah, you're making a canoe, right, right? And she's, she's constant, get ready with me, get ready with me, and let me, oh my God, oh my God, look at this, look at this. Would you snap? No. No, because she's probably... I'm like, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I bet she's making a good living. You wouldn't snap, Nick? Yeah, I would go crazy. That's the funniest part. The best packing hack for going to Auschwitz. No. Pack, make sure you pack food. There is not a snack bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Visiting wow. tragic locations and doing a get ready with me for them is very funny to me. Rocket money. Hey, do you find any subscriptions, Andrew, you forgot about or anything you paid twice for and didn't realize it? Yeah, the amount of subscriptions I'm subscribed to right now is embarrassing. And thanks to Rocket Money, they took care of that for me. Most Americans think they're spending around $62 a month per, on subscriptions. Uh, that's not true. The real number is closer to $300 a month on oh subscriptions. God. It's too oh much God. money too wasted. Too much. They find so many subscriptions that you forget about. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, you got full control over your subscriptions and a clear view of all your expenses. They break everything down for you right in front of your face. Rocket Money will even try to negotiate lower bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money will take care of that. They deal with customer service for you. You don't even have to. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of 500 million in canceled subscriptions. That's so 
much money. Saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. You must try this because I know you've got subscriptions. We all do. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash bad friends. That's rocketmoney.com slash bad friends. Rocketmoney.com slash bad friends. Manscaped. This video is brought to you by manscaped.com, the global men's lifestyle brand that is revolutionizing the landscape of men's grooming today. We're here to celebrate the perfect summer grooming. Companion. That will keep you looking cool, even when it's sizzling outside. That's right. I'm excited to introduce the latest version of the Lawnmower family, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, and the new colorway White Hot from Manscaped. In a sea of options to choose from to perfect your grooming routine, Manscaped undoubtedly shines. And now, by popular demand, they're riding the White Hot waves with their new special edition trimmer in white. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code BADFRIENDS at Manscaped.com. This 20% off plus free shipping with the code BADFRIENDS at Manscaped.com. I've been using um, the lawnmower since they came out with you the original. Won't shut up about it. Oh, it's so good. Well, because I'm always yeah, yeah. It's, it's the thick best down there, baby. And you know why? Because next gen dual skin safe blade. They make it so you're never gonna nick your nuts. You don't nick your nuts, yeah, before baby. Before my nuts were so nicked. You were so nicky. Had a nicky nuts. Yeah. Uh, switching between the two blades is a breeze, giving the versatility you need for all your summer grooming needs. It glides over your skin, capturing even the finest of hairs. Those little tiny little hairs. It's like having two trimmers in one, making sure. You're always summer ready without breaking the bank, baby. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code BADFRIENDS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code BADFRIENDS at manscaped.com. Can I tell you what the bay did? How did the bay go? How was it with the bay? Did he reprimand well, let's, you? Well, let's go. What, but why was I nervous? Do you know why I was nervous? Because you were talking shit. I'm, I was I don't talking shit. Well, bay heard you talking that shit. Okay, I was talking shit. <laughs> okay. So for years, I talked about this IBM commercial, an IBM a Pepsi commercial. Yeah. And how he goes, here's the light. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stand in the light. Up. Put your face in the light. And you told I it on Rogan. I said on Rogan. <laughs> oh. The biggest podcast yeah, yeah. platform. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really want anybody to know this story. I'll go on Rogan and tell it. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, millions and millions of people. Sunday, I'm at the comedy store. I have his name on the list. I'm up at like 845. It's a good spot. It's a very good spot. Yeah. And ask anyone that's working there. I've told this, these guys this. Um, he's not there. I'm literally getting brought up. And he's not there. I'm like, oh, you know how you go, ah, mm -hmm. he ain't coming. Yeah. He <laughs> come here, right? Mm -hmm. And as, as I'm getting called up, somebody at the block goes, the Bay, Michael Bay's here. <laughs> like, it's a whole thing. Like sirens go off. Right? The Bay has ascended. Right. So they obviously let him park there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I just yell, I go, just don't, you know what I mean? The back, bring him in the back, mm -hmm. set him right. And then I, I'm literally walking to the stage. While I'm on stage, he's walking in with his entourage. So cool. Yeah. And you know, your mind, you're all, it's, it's also, it was like 80 people. You know how sometimes the Main room? No, OR. Oh, okay. You know the OR is sometimes light on a Sunday? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But you know, what I kill. You still did good. I did good. You did good. You know, yeah. you I, survived. Might, I survived. You did good. Thank you, Daddy. I love you. Okay, kiddos. And then what happened? I know. I just love you so much. <laughs> uh, no, I, I end and as I'm walking off stage. He gets up to meet me Whoa. in the back. So then we get in the hallway and he goes, hey, man. I go, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't even know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. like, but, you know, we worked. I go, yeah, we worked. You know what I mean? And then, Pepsi, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I go, let's go in the back and talk about it. Mm -hmm. Right? You drag him to... to, to Take up, drag, to drag him to Ciro's. Higher ground. You get to be on... The, that's your territory. Thank you. Vulnerable in the hallway. In the back. In the back. This is my... You den. regain power. It's my den. Yeah, that's your den. Yeah. So you sit the bay down. It's so funny, Nick. Okay. I sit the bay down, and now I'm like, how do I... You know what I mean? I got to figure. Mm-hmm. So immediately, like like a coward, I go, well, you know, sometimes in podcasts, <laughs> no, I, I swear to God, I do this. You know, sometimes in podcasts, you know, like I experience a story and then when I say it, it's like, like you know, I have to make it entertaining for the people, whatever, whatever, create conflict, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he's like, whoa, 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 what are you talking, what? And I go, yeah. And he goes, no, my, you know, just the girl I'm seeing, right, is she just, she said that you mentioned it, but I never heard it. Is, do you think he had to have heard it? No. Really? No. Because it turned out she no. is a <laughs> she is the fan. Oh, so she's a she's a Bobby Lee fan. She said, "I think Bobby Lee talked about you on a podcast." Yes. Oh, okay. Right. Then we just start talking for like an, 
45 minutes and it was great hollywood stuff he was um super not i, I couldn't believe how like um reachable he was you know what i mean and is that the right word uh i mean reachable relatable for, for relatable, relatable relatable relatable, relatable as well. yeah reachable what the fuck are you talking about um <laughs> i mean you did reach him i did reach him no and he was like so like super open and nice and we talked about a variety of things and did it end well yeah Really good. Was it like, hey, let's No, he's just like, no, he was just kind of like, you know what I mean? I really want to do something with you or something like that. Oh, a little Bay movie, huh? I don't know. Little Bay movie. You know, movie. things like that are sad, and I just take it, you know what I mean, with what, whatever it is. Right. So, you know, chalk it up. Sometimes they forget, but my point is-, is that You won't forget. It was a positive thing, and they, apparently he hung out there all night, and like Jason Collins and some comics were like, he's still here, we're hanging out, he's so cool, you know what I mean? So he watched more shows. Yeah, he stayed there, I laughed, and he was just he stayed there all night. Everyone's saying that he, he was the nicest, he's such a nice guy, and it was a fun night. Yeah. I wanna be like you when yeah. I grow up. You are. Because guys like the Bay, you actually go golfing with, and go to like mm. Oregon, and some of these Mensa, like, I don't know, these deep Mensa. state, these Mensa deep state, like private fucking mansion parties. You mean Q I'm sure you go in there too. You mean sometimes. QAnon? Yeah. Yeah, we go to QAnon. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's something going on with you. I'm not in, I'm not in the party. I'm adjacent. It's, right? fu it's funny the way that he can say this, and the internet will be like, what is going on, man? What do parties does he get to go to? None. Do I you? sit at my house all day. He does. He sits around all day. No, I actually do shit all fucking day. He does. I do shit all day. You know what I did today? I washed my car, and it's my favorite thing in the world to hand wash my car. And I went to a little shop, in Burbank and I bought all my little supplies and it was really nice because the girl didn't know me, which is always nice. And she spoke to me like a car guy. And it was like, it, I, I like that. Like I'm a nobody, cause I am a nobody, but it was nice. She didn't like- I suppose you're like a car guy. What, like you're a pet boy? What the We were talking about? cars. We talked We talked about stuff we like. We talk about certain waxes and soaps that we prefer. Can, 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 can you improvise that stuff or not even, even if you don't know? If you don't know what you're talking about? Yeah, I think I can do it. Okay. Just try that. Oh, have you ever tried this Carnuba wax? Oh, yeah. Well, the Carnuba? Car 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 Charnuba? Well, that's what it was originally called. What did you in say? In 1972, yeah. right? Carnuba wax. No, Carnuba. Yeah, but they used to call it Carnubu. Carnubu? Yeah, it waxed. Like yeah. Nobu owned it? Yeah, exactly. Carnobo? Yeah, in 1972. Eat sushi off of Hudov Car? I don't know why you're doing an Asian accent, sir. I'm just here at the car, car manufacturer. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's a little... Uh, uh, I see you and I think, I don't know. Yeah, but when you do great. Vroom, vroom, beep, beep. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'll get, I'll get, I'm so sorry. You know, I'm going to leave. No, no, no. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Am I the customer? Yeah, you're the, you work there. I work here? Yeah. Holy fuck, I'm fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How offensive. You know what I mean? I wonder if you did that, they would leave, right? A hundred percent. Unless they're from Japan. Then they'd love it. I don't know. They might not know what was going on. <laughs> uh, excuse me, you have a, a Konuba wax? Uh yeah we yeah we have it up there but it's on the top shelf and it's uh pretty expensive. Oh, are you from Tokyo too? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they would do that. <laughs> they, oh, I remember you. What street? Mitsubishi Avenue. Uh, I think Banzai Banzai Way. <laughs> oh, next to the McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 yeah. It's a good McDonald's. <laughs> uh, yeah wow. No, I talked car stuff and it just felt nice to be like a, a human with someone instead of- But let me, can I ask you about the wax? Yeah, what about- Who gives a shit? Oh, I love it. I know, but what, and they, cause I've, ne I've never had wax on my car. I know, I can tell, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm waxless. You're waxless. And I people like, seem to like it still. Who likes your car? People go, no, that's right, except for when they see the other it's side. It's a piece of shit, it's smashed to shit. I know, I know, you're right. But um, I like what does the wax do, my friend? It protects the uh, it protects the paint. It protects the. Uh, so it doesn't get skin cancer. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, the SPF thirty five is on there. <laughs> it's in the sun all day. That poor girl. Oh yeah, yeah. So it protects um, the paint. It keeps it shiny and fresh and glossy. And more than anything, if you watched Karate Kid, <laughs> you would learn, wax on, wax off. It's more about patience. It's more about life lessons. Mm. It's deeper than just getting dirt off a car. It's mm. about connecting to these roots of like, I purchased a thing, I wanna take care of it, I want it to look nice, it's work, you sweat, it feels good, mm. you get meticulous, it shows it shows a lot of different things in life. So Mr. Miyagi was teaching him. I love that scene, do you remember? It probably doesn't make any sense, but. What do you mean, you... it makes perfect sense. Oh, so he's waxing cars, he's painting fences, 
And then one day, you know what I mean? Mr. Miyagi does that, and he, he does this, like if he's painting, that doesn't make any sense. It taught him patience and timing. Oh, that's true, okay. And he had to do his chores. Someone had to do all that shit. Right. But what a cool scene. I mean, one of the best movies of all time. I think so. Daniel's son. That's right. Daniel's son. It's that, a metaphor. Wow. Daniel's son. That was a great movie. Phenomenal. I love that movie. I, I mean, I honestly, I could watch it right now. Can we put it on? No, no. Yeah. Can we throw it on, please? But um, okay. I, I dreamed about going to do crane kicks at the beach, standing on one of those old wooden things. I thought about that all the time. Yeah, but here's the thing: you, there's things that you like, mm. like you have little things, like you know, you go, you you can go to a golf store mm. and look at the little, like you know, the little. What am I looking at? I'll tell you what you're looking at. <laughs> you're looking at the little jackets that go over the like little, you know what I mean? This part. <laughs> the little jackets. Well, you know, like you know how, oh, like ne the one next to Andrew. Yeah, right there. I call those a little jacket. Oh. A little club jacket? Yeah, a little club jacket. This is a little club jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to call that from now on. Okay, good. I go, can you get my club jacket, please? And then you probably look at like... Um, you won't believe what that's called. What? Head cover. Oh, head cover. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. No, I know. A little but it's jacket. But it's not something that I... I'm, I'm not interested in that. Right. But you have other things, uh, interests like cars, like that kind of stuff. Yeah. You can walk into a, like a... Pet Boys, I guess. I have to yeah, I walk into a Pet Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look and go, oh, look at the collaborator. I mean, this this goes really well with the rotation some of the collaborators? cuffs. Rotation cuffs, or right? Yeah, 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 rotator cuffs. Yeah, and the oil, petroleum oil, is very good with these rotation cuffs. You know? Petroleum yeah. jelly. You put it, petroleum jelly right, all right. over. Yeah, it. Exxon has the best kind. I don't know what they. Do. My, my point is, is that, and you that with, with watches too. Yeah. No, oh, German made or whatever you say. You know what I mean? But it's like <laughs> I literally have none of that. Yeah, we like different things. No, I don't have any interest. I I can't go into any store and go, oh look, you know what I mean? <laughs> look true. at yeah, what. Not true. Yeah, you know, Chinese stars. You you, you like yeah. This one was a Mandarin. You like clothes. Yeah. You shoes. like uh, shoes. Sex shops. Sex stores. <laughs> I mean, this is all true. You have the same meticulous love. It's just our loves are different. I, I, it's, it's, I think it's different shoes, though. No, there's not. A, I don't. Oh yeah, I guess you may be right. Yeah, but... I'm like that with smells. <laughs> like fragrances. Have you ever been to my house? Yeah. Have There's smells been? all over my fucking house. Yeah, it's a fr la fragrant house. Yeah, yeah, I have. I, I, I'm not kidding you. I probably have 450 colognes of various kinds. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's. And then I also have oils for the little rocks that I have. You know what I mean? So I guess I do have little things. You have little trinkets, and you yeah, would do, yeah. and you would go to a little trinket smell store, and you'd want to smell everything. I want to be a man, is what I'm saying. I don't have man things. Yeah, you do. Can't tell me one. You have um. Animals, cats. You have dogs. Yeah, but they don't live with me. Right. Yeah. Well, let's not talk about it. Okay, let's move on. You're manly, though. You think so? I gyrate good. Show me. <laughs> Show me. What do you mean? Let me see you gyrate, bud. <laughs> you can't put that in there, right? No. Yeah, you can. Your hump. Yeah, your hump. Your your hump. Le your hump skills. So, what time are you gonna watch uh, Long Legs tonight? <laughs> I'm going to go see Long Legs tonight. Yeah, you're going to like it. It's pretty cool. But I'm going to go alone. Oh, that's good. Because I want to be... He's scared. Yeah, yeah. And you can't, you can't do that when you're yeah, with somebody. Yeah, he, he's probably... I mean, what a career. Nick Cage. The best. Yeah. Because there was a while where he wasn't... He did all those small movies because Hollywood probably pushed him out. Why did it? Why he didn't get in trouble or something? He didn't no, do anything. No, he he did that one. Remember the Christian movie was one of the worst movies ever. What was it called? Left Left Behind. Be, left Behind, one of the worst movies ever made. I don't remember that. Movie. Yeah, he phoned every scene in. It was one of the worst movies. You got to watch this movie. Oh, there he is so on the phone bad. right there. Yeah, he's phoning it. In yeah, like yeah. That. I mean, there's literally one scene where he has his like captain's hat over his face. You can't even see his face. He's just saying his lines. You know what I mean? He hated it, and he. But um, they probably paid him a lot. Think about how hard that is. What? Go back to the poster, and you see all those people in it. Like this could be the break of their lifetime, and he's mm. and he's just like fuck it. Yeah. Chad Michael Murray, Cassie Thompson, Nikki Whelan, Jordan Sparks. Yeah. I gotta be love bad. Jordan Sparks. I, I, I don't know who those people are. Am, am I stupid? Chad Michael Murray is famous. What? I'm stupid. I don't. Years ago. Jordan Sparks was a pop singer, right? Mm, oh wow. Glee. Oh, I know him. Yeah. Yeah. I know him personally. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Bobby. No, seriously, we have lunch on Wednesdays. I know it. we have lunch every Wednesday. That's no way. Yes, Jimmy and CMM. That's what I call him. I didn't know that was his real name. <laughs> wow. He's a good guy. No, nah, I never met him, but I bet yeah. he's rad.
I mean, think about that. Maybe maybe Chad was like, fuck, this film's going to be awesome. And then the guy that stars in your movie is like, fuck this, and bails. When that would bump you, break your soul. Yeah. I mean, um, I, I think they were also going. Oh, they didn't like it either. I don't think so. Oh. Uh, terrible script. It's uh, You have to watch. It's one of the worst movies ever made. Well, it's about what? He's a pilot and a, a plane disappears and it's... it's no, like, no, this is what it is. It's a Christian, so a Christian production company made it. You got me. I'm so in. basically, The Rapture. All right. Right, so like one day, just people just kind of disappear and then the clothes just fall to the ground. Whoa. And it's like six dudes left going, oh, fuck, we're, oh, no, we didn't believe in God. What do we do? Right? Uh, and they start party? running. <laughs> I know, dude. Number one, I would go to the pharmacist. Yeah. Right? Unless the pharmacist is still alive. No, they're gone. Oh, good. He's yeah. in heaven, right? Yeah, he's in heaven. So, fuck, I would go, you know, like, drugstore cowboy. I've always, that's my one of my fantasies. Mm. Uh, Delauded. You know what I mean? I would just go try to find the, all the shit, right? Get all the del And then you know what I would do? Dude, I fantasize about this. I fantasize about this all the time, dude. I can't wait, right? <laughs> then I'm going to go to San Marcos. Why? San Marcos, California. Do you know why? Why? That's where the real doll factory is. <laughs> <laughs> God. Right? So I go to the pharmacist, right? Probably nine pharmacists. Get all the I'll relapse. I don't give a fuck. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> I don't care. I'm so excited. So I'll relapse, right? So uh, then I'm going to get. Cars probably still work. Yeah, cars work. <laughs> Everything works until it stops working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't get them fixed. That's right, but that, I, I, you assume that for the next 20 years, you'll be able to find cars. That you'll be fine. Works. You just keep getting in get new cars. Get switched cars. Yeah. Right? Go to San Marcos, right? And I would go to, but I don't know how, but they, they have like pre-belt, you know what I mean? Set. I'd get 20 of them. <laughs> don't you think? I think you would just go in and use it. When you're done, you'd leave. No, because I don't want, I don't want to live in San Marcos. <laughs> I think, where do you want to live? Everyone's gone. I would. I would go to back to Malibu or something like a nice beach property. Okay, then get yourself an eighteen wheeler truck and load that bitch up with sex doll toys and yeah, bring yeah, it up yeah. to a house in Malibu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring it to Spielberg's house mm. and pack that thing with real dolls. Yeah, I, I would love to have sex with a real doll on Delauded, right, with a fucking Amistad poster back of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's like fantasy of mine. I'm asking that, right? So, um, I'm, and you're talking to her. You're like, you know, I directed that movie. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> it's jizz all over her face. <laughs> yeah. I, I, so I, I have all these fantasies. What I would do. The real doll factory is where you'd go. I'm trying to genuinely think if if that happened. And a like, bookstore probably. A bookstore. Yeah, because I, I because I, I I need to be doing something. I, so I was like, I'm gonna read. You're not. Yes, I am. No. Yes, I am. You don't read now. What's the difference? I would learn to read. I'd be so bored. You can't just fuck a real doll all day long on the lotted. <laughs> Try me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eventually, you're like, oh, Hemingway. Yeah, sun also rises. I don't even know what I would do. I can't even imagine what I would do. If like, so how many people are gone of the population? It's it's like almost everybody. Only a few people. Are no, left. half the population is probably. Oh well, that's a lot of people still left. Oh yeah, but I'm, I have scenarios in my brain when I go to bed. I think of these things. What? Imagine if there's only fifty people. <laughs> Whoa. On planet Earth, you're never gonna run into anybody. So what would you do? You're never gonna. So you're alone, basically. This is the scenario. Yeah. What would you do? The first thing I would do. Yeah. You can't kill yourself. <laughs> Boring. Boring. Yeah. Don't kill yourself. No, you want, well, you stay, I'd stay alive, yeah. but you're never going to see anybody again, so you're the last person on earth. Basically, yeah. You don't know that they're there, the 50, so you're never going to see them. But what if? What if you run into one of them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's the most annoying guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, who would be the annoying, you think? To have on earth? Yeah. It's not going to also be because it's like, like if there's 50 people. Like a teacher from high school that's still around? Right. And there's probably half of them are women, right, probably? And then probably seven of them. That'd be great if it was 49 dudes and one chick and you got to go find her. Oh, wow. The hunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. So what would you do? 50 people. All right. The first thing you do. First thing I do. Yeah. Boom. Everyone's gone. Clothes drop. Yeah. Boom. What do I do? Well, at first you would go like, what? What's going on? Like all that. <laughs> What's going on? Panic. Panic. Sheer panic. So after a week you find out, you know what I mean, that you're, there's no one around. Then what do you do? I go to, go to downtown LA. <laughs> Go, go to Skid Row because the bodies are gone, but the drugs are still there, right? Mm. Right? You know, they leave all the belongings. It's not where all, I mean, there are other drugs, other places. Where are they? CBS. 
No, no, I'm talking about H. I'm riding the horse. I want a heroin. Whoa. So I'm going downtown, yeah, kiddo. Yeah, 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 I'm going to a safe needle drop spot. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. And I'm grabbing those needs, yeah. jamming them in my arm. And also downtown, there's a Lamborghini dealership. And I'm grabbing one of those things. And I'm on the horse as I'm flying through LA on that stuff, dude. Whoa. And I'm driving right to Whoa. the sunset. On the 10. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just horsed out of my mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Yeah. Right. Dude, going I'm, as fast as I can, just slamming into shit. And then as soon as I get to the beach, we're watching it meets the yeah, water, yeah. right off of the pier into the ocean. No. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah? <laughs> and then I'm jerking off. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 100%. But what? here's the horror. What if you can't die? Oh, shit. Like Groundhog Day. Yeah, like Groundhog You can't die. Well, then you find you a new fun thing to do every single day. Right. I would jump. Well, a couple of times you want to jump off of something. You want to know what that feels like. Yeah. Also, fashion, you could just wear, wear whatever you want. Well, I'd be naked. I'm not going to Well, I'm not gonna yeah, bother with not clothes. Me. Socks and underwear? I'd have like those gigantic green rave pants. <laughs> right? With the loops, with yeah, the tons I, of loops. I've always wanted to wear one of those little fucking hats with the little propeller. <laughs> <laughs> right? And that, you know what I would wear? One of those like, you know, the Eric Griffin masks? Oh, the big nose. The big nose yeah. Eric Griffin masks. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I would probably take a tattoo gun and just be... Tattooing yourself. I, would, I always would post Malone it. Yeah. On the face. Yeah. But what would I put? Just like a bunch of fours. <laughs> four, four, just all over my face. <laughs> what, what, what? Some arbitrary number, right? Yeah. It'd be, and then all of a sudden they come back. <laughs> then I'm going to be like, what? I got needles in my arm. At the <laughs> Where have you guys been? That's insane. My teeth are all gone. Yeah. Wow. It'd be fun to pull out a tooth. That would be fun. Oh, that's yeah. The, the things that could go wrong. I'll tell you what would go wrong. What well, if you get sick? Oh yeah. Well, so this like I don't know how chemo works, or how to get it. I don't even know if I have. How do you know, even know you have cancer? I go to the uh, scripts. There's no one there. I don't even. Know, I press a button. I don't know what to do. You just sit in the machines by yourself. Boo -doo -doo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You print it out. I can't read this. <laughs> yeah. And you wow. leave. <laughs> wow, wow. That'd be a nightmare. It would be. It'd be that's the, you know. And you know what the lesson in life is, guys? Mm. We need people. So be nice to each other. That's exactly what the we need is. each other. That's what the we don't is. we don't want a society uh, without whether we agree or disagree. Mm. We need each other. Mm -hmm. I always think, you know I mean that. Yeah, here's another fantasy I have at night. Yeah, because you know I need fantasies before I go to bed, and over the years I just put scenarios in my head, and I go, "What if this happens?" So. I, I'm a big fan of the movie Highlander. Love. Right. So what if you couldn't die, but you were born from the beginning of time, mm. right? And you had to just live through time. So, you, so, you, so you're so you immortal. Yeah. But in, in, my, in my head, it's like if I looked five foot two in Asian, I could only hang out in Korea until like 1960. <laughs> <laughs> in my mind, I think that. <laughs> Right, because there's no way, there's no part of history, yeah, right, where I'd be completely accepted. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? What place? <laughs> what place would you be accepted for? What Korea, China? I'd probably learn all the languages. Well, you Asian could, you could languages. Pass for Mexican. Hey, bro. See. All oh, right, maybe I, he sold me on it. But I would probably wouldn't even know how to get there until 1960. If I was you, yeah, and I wanted to last from the beginning, of I, time. it'd be the islands. Oh, right. the, anywhere on an any island, island. any island, right. they're never gonna fuck with you because you look so native. Yeah. to a, a a place surrounded by water, you look like thank a guy. Thank you that so much for a... saying that. I've always thought that, but thank you for. Am I wrong? Thank you so much. You look like that. a water boy. Yeah, yeah. But you then, look... who would I have sex with? What do you mean? Now, Nick, you're not around. Who would you have sex with on the island? Yeah. Well, people would inhabit it. Natives would inhabit it. Right. Right. Just who... Brown people like Samoans and stuff. It's a dark. <laughs> yeah, darker use. A darker use. Darker use. Yeah, yeah. But in my mind, yeah. I wouldn't even see it, know what a white person is, maybe. That, oh, what, a, what a blessing. But I, but here's the thing. To if, never see a white. Yeah. But in the but in my mind, I would love to have been at historical places. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. like, 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 me, like, like, go to the, like, Jesus' shop. Did he have a little store? A little yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh, this nice ottoman. <laughs> Not like really get involved. He would probably know who I was. Like, oh, you're the guy that you know what I mean that we God made from a long time ago, or whatever. But what if Jesus was you go in a store? And he's real chatty. Yeah, like Not... I, I walk in, ding ding ding. Do they? Does there? Is there like a? Hey, welcome. How hey. are you, brother? Hey, I, I'm just new in town. You know, I'm from. Where are you from? Palestine. 
Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Whoa, there's something different about you because at all the other stores they won't even let me in. Well, let me tell you some of those other people. They yeah, don't have yeah. a heart like me. Uh, oh, my arm fell off. Oh, hold on. Whoa. You're welcome. Thank you. What's your name? Jesus. <laughs> Hello, Jesus. Yeah. Last name? God. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I hate Jesus God. Hi. Hi. What can uh, I help you with today? What are you looking for? Oh, I'm looking for um actually a um a guillotine. Do you make those? We make guillotines. Yeah. Is that what? The, oh, they're called from where I'm from. Oh, they call them gilla. <laughs> a guillotine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. We make. Yeah, guia. Yeah. Oh, guillotine. Guillotine. Been saying it for wrong for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Because we get a brochure, a guillotine brochure, and you know. Yeah. It's just spelled guillotine. For I gotta tell you, I, oh, I got. They're gonna kill me soon. I gotta go. They're gonna be killing gonna, me soon. When? Today. Oh. Yeah. People I trust a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Some of my best friends actually. Oh, because I was running into a guy named Paul. You know him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. dude. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, good yes. dude. He yes. taught me how to surf oh, last really? week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the Dead Sea. Oh, cool. No waves. <laughs> <laughs> no waves. And we still surfed. It's an unbelievable. Bodyboarding? Bodyboarding, yeah, cool. yeah. Cool. All right, I have a real genuine concern. I need your help. Hold on. Because <laughs> I, I, want, I want to help you. Please. Oh, he's got to pray. Mangzala 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 Mom, when I go mama G, mama G, mama G, mama G, right, and I do friend talk, I'm 100% serious. I'm okay. not going to go for comedy. I need all. your help. Go right. ahead. I forgot my iCloud password, and I don't know how to reset that fucking thing. And it's really been driving me nuts. <laughs> no, what is my, I really have a concern, and I'm being serious about this. Yeah. My memory feels like I'm, I'm slipping away. Dude, I'm, not, bro, I swear. To fucking God, dude. I, the other night, I thought I was losing my memory. I've like started to forget things way more Me often. too, me too. And here's another thing, dude. The other day I was laying in bed and I was like trying to think of Arsenal players that I'm a big fan of. And I couldn't remember like four or five of them. What's going on with us? No, I'm being real. Me too. I'm yeah. not making and this I think up. It's, so there's something in the water. Something in the there's water. something going on where I'm like forgetting things. Or sometimes I'll play, play Stardew Valley. And I'm like, like, like if I had to pick turnips or not turnips, um, what is, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, it was melons. I go, I look, you just forgot that. I forgot that. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. And I was like running to, cause I had to pick melons, right? Because I had to make pancake. Oh, pancake. Yeah, because it was, it was uh, you trying to say pancake? No, pancake, pink, pink cake. Oh, pancake. No, I didn't say it like that. Okay. All right. Right. And I'm like, because it was fucking Haley's birthday, right? No, Penny's birthday. I forgot that. See? Uh, right. And then I was running, and I was like, what am I running toward? Whoa. Like, I didn't know what I was running toward. And I go, what was I doing? And I had to think for a while. I go, oh, yeah, melon, melon. What? But when you're running for melons, and you forget it, that's, that's a danger, dude. I've been running for melons my whole life. Dude, so what is going on with you? Tell me what you forgot. I'm doing little things now that I used to never do. My memory's usually, I'm usually very sharp, and... Well, for, you always, I've always said I have no long-term memory. It's crazy. It's mm. gone. But the short term used to be so good, but I'm doing things I used to never do that would bother me. Like what? I'll put a thing somewhere, forget where I put it. Fuck. And I never do that. Wow. Dude. I lost a car key. Dude. I lost a car key. Hello. What is going on? The other day I was like, where's my car key? And I'm being real. I where is it? I lost a car key. It was in my hand. In your hand. <laughs> The woman at the dealership goes, well, you got the car home because I had the second key. Mm. And she goes, so it's somewhere in your house. Don't, you don't know. I can't, no. I cannot tell you. Yeah. And I'm telling you this, without Find My, I would have no fucking devices. Oh my God, thank God for Find My. Dude, without Find My, no devices. Isn't that a cousin of yours, Find My? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. I, my cousin runs around. <laughs> Where's my phone? I find it. <laughs> and he just runs around, dude. You know what I mean? 
I'm forgetting stuff, dude. I'm getting a little worried. I'm not gonna lie, it's, dude. I, I I'm I swear on my life right now, dude. It's scaring me. I'm literally going through the same thing. It's been in the last couple of weeks. I go, am I losing my mind? In fact, a couple of times, did, didn't I tell you guys that on this podcast where I go, am I? forgetting things do i seem like i'm do you remember i said that but you know what i've learned to humble us out stress and anxiety can make you feel like you're not remembering stuff but it's because your brain is overwhelmed there's too you know what it is <sighs> there's too many things clogging up the production line and so nothing can get produced oh my god you know when a chip bag gets caught uh, you know like a chip bag it's like oh fuck and it gets caught and then you boop boop another one and it gets another one in there that's our brain What's a chip bag? A chip, a bag of chips in, in the a machine? vending machine. Yeah, oh, and so all it needs B nine. Sometimes you B9 go B seven. Yep. Like, oh, it meant to do B nine. But all you and need now is, you're getting the fucking. You know what I mean? You need A six. Oh, you to need drop six. and knock everything out. Whoa! And you I never thought about space. that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm taking an A six in a couple you, of days. You are. I'm A six and out to Hawaii. Oh, and what are you gonna do there? Golf? Don't even golf. Mukalakahiki. You're gonna golf there. Man, I wanna lay ya. Whoa. Who are you going with? Who are you going with? Who are you going with? A good friend of mine, mm. Barbadook Salamanan. Mm. Barbadook no. Salamanan was my shaman for many years. Oh, I know. You, you told me about it. I read his book. Barbadook Salamanan. Yeah, yeah. The one thing I hate is the Happy guy, Nights. He, makes me, he wrote Happy, happy Nights. Happy Nights. Yeah, 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 yeah. He makes me dock. I don't want to He makes me dock with him. But that's because you're trying to connect energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Barbadook is a strange guy. Yeah. But when you and I talk, yours swallows up mine. <laughs> it does, and it's like it, it, it's not right. It's it's too the power. Your power is too much. No, you know what it looks like. You know those little attachments on a vacuum. Your your yours is the attachment hose, and mine is the one that clips in. Oh right, right, right. And I, I suck you, it you in. You suck it so hard. What does the rest of the summer hold for us? Greatness. We're going to Montana. Going to oh yeah, well going let's to make an announcement. We're we're going to Montana because Bobby's going up there to shoot a movie or a TV show. A movie, <laughs> with who? <laughs> what? Who was in it? That's good. That's good friend. Who's in it? What? Why? Who's in it? Jim Belushi, famous. You love him? Yeah. What do you mean? Legend. Yeah, he's the man. Yeah. According to Jim. According great, to Jim, great that show. guy, that guy. And he's got a weed show, right? That's great. Mm -hmm. Isn't that? And him? then I'm doing it with uh, Miss Jones. Oh my mom. Uh -oh. Hi, I was downtown in Katie's apartment today, ready to help her move. We'll chat tomorrow. Mm. Is that a translator? It's probably like... <laughs> it's probably like phone translator. Yeah. I love her so much. When I saw her, I hugged her so deep. They were happy to see you when they ran into really you. really love them. Let me, see, let me read you this poem, though, real quick. I am the mayfly, metamorphosizing... I can't even read it. I am the mayfly <laughs> metamorphosing Metamor on the surface of the river. And I am the bird which, when spring comes, arrives in time to eat the mayfly. I am the frog swimming happily in the clear pond. And I'm also the grass snake who, approaching in silence, feeds itself on the frog. I am the child in Uganda, all skin and bones, my legs as thin as bamboo sticks. I am the arms merchant selling deadly weapons to Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> I am the 12 year old girl, <laughs> refugee on a small boat, who throws herself in the ocean after being raped by a sea pirate. Oh. I am the pirate, my heart not yet capable of seeing, seeing and loving. Wow. What are you looking up? What is that? <laughs> he goes, wow. Oh, I saw something wild. What'd you see, wild? I, I was at a coffee shop, <clears throat> and the gentleman making the coffee had one, he had two arms, but only one hand. And it was. Wait, wait, let me stop. You know me. I need visual visuals. Vision. He had two, so two arms. Two arms and what? One hand, one hand was missing. They're good. Yeah, he had, a, he had a, yeah. Okay, the hand's missing. Okay, and and I didn't notice it until he handed my handed me my coffee with the, obviously the nub hand. Yeah, his but the nub was inside my coffee, <laughs> and he moved it like everywhere. That. Oh, I see. Yeah, got all over the place. Yeah, no, I assume it was the one with the grip. No, like a chess piece. He went. Your move. <laughs> all right. Your move. Oh, it's like a rook. He was rooked upon. Rook, rooked upon. Yeah, rooked upon. Palm. Latte I, rooked I see. upon. I see. <laughs> no, but yeah. he had, but he had one hand. And honestly, yeah, I'm not mocking him at all. He was. Uh, unbelievably fast doing the orders taking the thing and it was so mm. quick and I thought how is it no fingers I mean he I mean look yeah yeah move things around like like well, I mean I, well, I mean let's say there's a coffee cup right here right so, if it spills most oh, of the right, time that, it's oh, gonna oh, spill. Yeah, yeah. yeah 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 most of the time it's gonna spill and maybe the nub is more sensitive it had one of the, you know the you know the coffee sleeve you put on the outside of a cup. He yeah, had that yeah. on his nub. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, you know here's what I don't like. 
You know, here's what I don't know. That's very funny. You, you know what I don't like? When they have nub but only two fingers. Oh, chop those out. Get those right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Get I mean, it's on. like, you know, just commit to one. You know what I would do every time? If I did have a nub, every every time, like the, like this, like that rock, if I had a nub, yeah. I'd be like, yo, throw me that rock. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, toss it to me. Ah, fuck. I would do it with the nub hand. I try to go for it That's with the funny. nub hand, and people would laugh. Yeah, because it's a good bit. Right. You gotta, like, dude, you know, you got to yeah. give yourself a little bit. Right, of, right, right. Like he, I don't think he said anything about it because, mm. but if I'm him, you know what I mean? What? No, I don't. I, I would make a joke about it. Yeah, dude. You know, you'd have to say something. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you, uh, you, what kind of milk? What kind of milk do you want? What? Uh, oat milk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you want? Do you want anything inside of it? Vanilla. Here's what I don't. Caramel. Here's why I don't want inside of it. What? Your nub. <laughs> I think it'll taste funny. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I just don't want nub in my coffee. You're rubbing my nub the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Now rub it for good luck, for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. You'd have to pound everyone. You'd have to... You know. Oh, you know, it'd be cool if you had one hand missing and you saw another guy with one hand. You, you probably from across the restaurant go... <laughs> <laughs> and they go... Right? Like, we're late. Yeah. Yeah. Now, by the way, did I over tip the guy with the nub? Yes, you did. Under tip. <laughs> you need half as much. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I over tipped him. I put twenty you bucks. You always do. Yeah. I put twenty bucks in the thing. Yeah. But but it it's he's not the it's not like mm. you know what I mean? No. Like I'm I a, don't. I'm a sucker. You're a su I felt bad, but it's like I shouldn't I'm a feel sucker bad. For burn victims. Well, you see them all the time? Are they uh, burn victims? you see them a lot? Yeah. When was the last time you saw a burn victim? Perump. Perump, Nevada. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. where they keep them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw one burn victim in Pahrump. You go to Pahrump. Yeah, yeah. You know what I almost did yesterday? Here you go. On the way to the store, I almost went to Carney's, and it's been years since I've had a hot dog at Carney's. Love it, that place. I know I should go. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've, I've, I have, I I don't know. When's the last time you had a hot dog? Yeah. When's the last time you had a hot dog? Uh, three days ago from Dog House. You eat hot dogs that often? I love hot Dude, let me say something about hot dogs. Wait, what? <laughs> you eat hot dogs dude, more than- I, like Dude, bro, that's why I always purposely go to Chicago airport. For the hot dogs, because I need a Chicago dog. Me too, but it's only—it's a very special occasion. You're eating a midweek. Mm. You're eating like a hot dog on a Wednesday. Yeah, that's insane. Dude, I me. love them hot dogs, and I've been really getting into Smash Burgers as of late. But I love Dog House. That's nice. But always something bad happens at Dog House. You know why? You know why? 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 Because Dog House is where I found out that my dad was dying. Are you serious? Yeah. And you still go back? Yeah, I was in the Burbank doghouse. I remember sitting there. I didn't even eat my meal. You and left the dog. Yeah, I left the two dogs. Two dogs. And tater tots. I got it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, puppy. You know, and I go, yeah, daddy. I go, oh, fuck. And every time I go to a doghouse, something bad kind of happens ever since then. You think about your dad. Yeah, maybe that's, that's what it so is. That's so sad. Yeah, it's very sad. We should go. Make it a happy. Moment. We should go to doghouse and do it. something for your dad. And you want to do that? I would love to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Why well, have his ashes? Maybe put, sprinkle some on there. On a dog? Yeah, yeah. I usually just do mustard, but I can. I can put on <laughs> yeah. Bring the spirit radio. See if he's there. We should bring the spirit radio to the dog house. See if we can contact your father through dog through hot dog. Yeah, please. Did your dad like hot dogs? Hated them. <laughs> That's why. He fucking hated them. Yeah, maybe he yeah, hated them. Right. You know, I was at, on. Um, this lady goes. I saw the Rolling Stones last weekend, and they were great. And I, she showed me a video. What the fuck? How? The Stones? Yeah. The, how are they still doing it? Yeah, Mick Jagger just going out and still. I mean, how's he doing? He's killing it. Killing it. He's probably the he's probably in the best shape ever. He's eighty, but it's amazing Keith Richards is alive because yeah, he smoked what a pack of Marlboro Marlboros every day for like thirty years or whatever. Yeah, and he's still up there. It's proof that it's all bullshit. It's 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 an accident. Delaney's young; she might die tomorrow. Right. It. Who knows? Oh, you could live to be ninety six years old. I know. Chances are actually higher that you'll outlive. In fact, I read a study that says some people that exercise too regularly have yeah. a higher risk of dying because stress that exercise puts on your body. It wow. does. Exercise has stress. There are stress-related things that goes to your heart. Yeah, like my more, my organs don't move much. They don't need to move. Yeah, maybe they're being preserved There's in no my shift. body. Yeah, you're pickling it's yourself. Not, yeah, I'm pickling my own body. That's great. <laughs> heavy stress and heavy stress from like guy, people who usually live. Look, working out's obviously good for you. But people who you live a lifestyle that work out often tends to be the same kind of personality traits of people that lose sleep because they're overworking. Some people die from drinking water. Never. <laughs> well, if you drink too much. Yeah. There was one girl that did it one time. That's what I'm talking about. What's that? The girl that died from drinking. What did she drink? Like eight gallons of water? No, there was a college kid who took Molly and he got scared. He kept drinking water and died. 
That's how you die on Molly. You think you're dehydrated. Indiana woman dies from drinking too much water. I wonder what the like the um the first sign is a pain. A dizziness. They say dizziness and and you start to get headache, real bad headache. And then you drink more water thinking that'll help your headache. Mm, interesting. That is crazy, man. It's like when you know somebody's on like a reality show, like a, Alone or or, or um, Naked and Afraid. Yeah, they can't eat right away. No, because like like I'm gonna get a fucking Philly cheesesteak. That would kill you. Well, you throw they throw up usually. Your stomach is shrunk by that point. But you could die maybe even. What would you? What's the first thing you would eat? Peanut. A peanut. Like if I'm like on on a show like Alone, like I go, okay, give me a peanut first. I don't want to die. I don't overwhelm my system. One peanut. <laughs> Shifts in electrolyte levels can cause serious complications, including seizures, heart failure, and comas. If you just got off the show, you and I did Naked and Afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? Yeah. We're done. They're like, anywhere you want to go, anything you want to eat. You don't go to right to fucking Barcelona and go to a restaurant. No, you, you have to go to a camp. They, they, they have doctors and stuff that observe your body. I know. I'm saying the first meal you have when you get home. But is this is right when I'm off the show or Let's when I go home? Let's pretend that it is for the sake of- Are we going home together? You and I, yeah, we're going out to eat together. Yeah. Okay, so we would probably go to what restaurant would we go to? Mastro's. Okay. I, I would want steak. I'd want steak, potatoes, vegetables, salad. I'd want a fucking little little bone marrow. Mm. I would slurp up some bone marrow and that bacon, that 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 crack bacon. I want crack crack bacon, bacon. yeah, sugar yeah. crack bacon, baby. And then I would get fucking seafood tower. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what we get? Caviar mm -hmm. with creme fraiche. Right on your, on your nipples. I'll lick them off. You really? Yeah. 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 It doesn't even have to be creme fraiche for me. It could be your my my creme fraiche. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My creme. Dude, I mean, I would literally probably do that if I was starving. You're hungry enough. Yeah, yeah. If I had some like caviar, but I'd ma I'd make you watch me cook. You know? What do you I'd mean? Stand right there while I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, if you're gonna eat the chef's meals. And the chef's got to taste his, you know, he has to spoon in his own. That's enough. I don't think bread would be good, would it? Oh, my God. Yeah, like a whole sourdough bread. Dude, we went like out to, to dinner a couple nights ago. Yeah. I ate a whole, I, you know when they bring out the bread basket? I ate the whole thing to myself. Oh, I love Fucking housed it. Housed it. Yeah. My wife was like, what are you doing? Yeah. I was like, I, we didn't eat lunch. I'm I hungry. there's sticks in there. Well, you yeah. like when they do that? Or I'll eat the sticks. <laughs> you don't, I don't like the sticks. You don't like the bread sticks? I like the warm, like, bready bread. You like the pretzel bread. That's what you like. How do you know that? That's my favorite. How do you know that about me? we eat together. That's right. I love the pretzel bread. Oh. Yeah. I love pretzel bread buns on like hot dogs. Mm. You know who has it? I don't care what you say. Wiener schnitzel. Yeah. Yeah. I know you like that. Chicago dog with a pretzel bun. That's it, dude. Wiener schnitz. I'll tell you my glorious day of eating. A perfect day of eating for breakfast. Like we said. Baked Pussy. Beans. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Of course, pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baked beans. That's my second breakfast. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> your perfect breakfast is ba baked ba beans, spam, mm. a rice, mm -hmm. egg, mm -hmm. and kimchi. <laughs> Done. Lunch, Chicago dog mm -hmm. with the pretzel bun, mm -hmm. tater tots with some sort of spicy like dip. Oh yeah. Of some sort. Spicy mayo. Yeah. Dinner. Now here we go. Here we go. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I mean. I don't know. There's so many options. Too many. Yeah. The Chicago Cubs have invited me to throw out the first pitch and sing the seventh inning stretch in Chicago. No. September 6th against the New York Yankees. Wow. Yeah. And Congratulations. I, I, I would love for you to be there. I can't. Okay. That's I will fine. not be there. Fine. <laughs> I'm going to watch you pitch? Are you out of your mind? You'll come out with me. No, I'm not going out there, dude. Come on. They're not going to know me. You'll be the catcher. I'll be the pitcher, just like in real life. Gay sex joke. <laughs> Congratulations! That's a huge thing. Dude. I can't wait, man. They reached out and they said they would. They'd be, you know, they would love for me to do it. So I'm gonna throw out the first pitch. So you and I. Here's what I want to do. I need to warm up. Will you do? I'll will, do it. Will you warm me up? I'll warm you up, dude. Okay, so congratulations. Though. You want to watch me warm up on Patreon? You got to watch me and Bobby are gonna go. In honor of Brody Stevens, we'll go to a cage in uh, in what is it? What is it? Uh, huh? Sepulveda? We'll go to one of those cages up north in the valley somewhere Let's where he used it. to throw. I, congratulations. That's a huge thing. Yes! Santino! Yeah, I'm going to get to throw out the first pitch and sing the seventh inning stretch, which I can't wait. It's, it's funny how you don't think your friend is big, but they are. You don't think I'm so, <laughs> <laughs> so mean. No, you know, no, you, you, I mean, you don't look at me like, you, I'm just your friend Bob. You don't think of like what, you know. I don't think of you like a famous guy? You. I do. 
Yeah, same to you. Yeah, same to you. <laughs> same to you too. Yeah, but you, but you know, I, I, yeah, it takes you out of. It's just weird. Well, when I, you see like, you, I'll see like, you know, Nikki Glaser on something. I go, oh shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. she's on everything. Yeah, or any of your friends. You, you, well, you watch a movie and go, oh fuck. That guy's in the. Oh yeah. That's my friend. He's in a movie. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for being bad friend of. Thank you for being a bad friend. I'm tired guys. Heads up. I mean, it's Saturday. He ran around all fucking day. The guy had shit to do all fucking day. I did. He had to go to a fucking meeting, go to a podcast. He had to go return a motorcycle. He's he had to go pilot. meet. He had to go meet someone at his old house. Uh, he had to meet someone at his new house. Then he had to run back across town and do errands. And then on top of that, he had to take a couple of meeting phone calls about writing projects he's involved in. Dude, oh, yeah. the guy's been working you know what Andrew all had to do? fucking Andrew day. Andrew was very busy too, guys. You know? All day. You got to wake up, hang out with his fucking Hollywood friends at the golf studio, playing golf, do a couple, a couple of teas, yeah. right? Everything I named Eight or nine I teas. Today. Everything I named I did today. I did the same thing You too. didn't do shit. You yes, woke up and you didn't do shit. No, no, I did. Fuck you. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm tired. Suck my fucking dick. Shut the fuck up. You don't do shit. Shut the fuck up. Okay, <laughs> back to the old days. We're going back to the beginning of bad friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. You don't do shit. You know what? You sleep all fucking day. I'll tell day. you this then. You contribute your goose, lips, you, goose egg. Your lips are so dry and blending into your face that I can't even tell that there is lips. Okay, get your shit together. Get some lips. Yeah, that's that's good. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, that yeah. One yeah. Hit. And your two <laughs> little one, bump dude, teeth coming it. out, dude. You're hitting what are you, it hard. A beaver. You're hitting it hard. You're a beaver, dude. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean. You're hitting it hard. You want today. some wood? Make a dam. Whatever they do, you know this what I mean. Good. Clog it up, dude. This Clog up the river, dude. This is good. You piece of. Hey, what? 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 What are you wearing, oh, oh, my oh, friend? Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, 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 you know what he's wearing? What John Travolta was wearing after the murder at Pulp Fiction? Remember? Shut the fuck up. Get your foot together, dude. <laughs> right, What's wrong with it? Oh my god, your legs too. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's out of control, dude. You Don't ready? fuck around, dude. You ready to get started? Don't fuck. Shut the fuck up. Tell What's me what to you do. See, this is when I know when he's not good. Fat fuck. <laughs> oh, because I'm morbidly obese. <laughs> I put my, my 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 I put my fucking weight and my height in a, in a fucking app thing. It said I was morbidly obese. You're gonna tease me like that? <laughs>